guys. Welcome to a new episode. Um, I did some rearranging since last time, but nothing major. Uh, moved some things around. This time, what I'd like to do is I would like to basically uh, handle a problem here we had with elimination. Um, so the problem we had was that numbers higher than other numbers were being processed. I'm not sure if that makes sense. Let me show you what I mean. When we ran this, I'm going to go ahead and run it again here. So we started off with, let's go back to 0, 1, 1, right? And then this goes, one of the ones keeps moving all the way until it moves through the entire process and then moves back here. I want this point to be eliminated because this number, this one, has to always be greater than this one. Right? That's pretty much how it is. A uh, very simple added step where I want where I want V to be greater. I want this to always be greater than this. Now uh, this here functions on the false case, which means that only if they're not equal, we can add an AND. If they are not equal AND, the top one, if they are not equal. Okay, so this is the false, so this should be less than. Replace with less. Uh, I'm going to put less or equal just to be safe, but in theory, there is no safe system. So if this is less than or equal, or I just put in an or, so if they are, or if they are equal, oh, look at that, less than or equal. Uh, I just need to replace this with less or equal no need to change anything else I believe ha huh. that might be the entire problem right there fixed let me go ahead and check so yeah 44 45 skips it now we go on through the iterations all of them then when we reach the end it should move down one step which it just did perfect beautiful the system works I'm gonna just control Z through all this because I had it all arranged, there we go, and just click this and replace it with less or equal. Problem solved. Perfect. We eliminated repetition. Uh, we have far less going on now, which is perfect. Let's see what we have here. Uh, indicator of size. I'm not sure how many we're going to get. 1,035 by 2. So we have an array of 1,035 by 2. Uh, 1,035 guys is an amazing number because before this step, before this step, if let me let me replace this back to equal just so you guys see how much difference this should be almost double. 2,007 is exactly double. So this is something very very important to make sure that is happening. So now we only have to do this a thousand times instead of two thousand times. Literally a savings of half. Perfect. Now that we have two numbers, we had one create a okay, let's go back to this. So we have a one card deck. Basically one means plus six. Right? So here's what we have. We have basically your hand which has two cards then you have the flop which adds three cards so now with the flap with the flap you have a total of five then you have the turn which adds another card now you have a total of six and then the river with another card now you have a total of seven now how much do you need to add to get a minimum here you have six cards plus one here plus zero you're done you don't need to do anything here right 
after you have the river. Now, before plus one. Here, you have five cards, you need to do plus two. Here, uh, here you have two cards, which would imply you need to do a plus three. Now, this is a plus two to get to seven, plus one to get to seven, plus zero to get to seven. Plus three is to get to five. You will need plus five to get the plus seven. But the problem is plus five, plus five means everything, not you. When you add all five, you have the possibility to get anything, which is not what I want. Therefore, plus three is the maximum that I need. So basically now we did the plus one, we did the plus two, let's get the plus three, and then then we can come back and play with this. So how do we go from plus two to plus three? How does this work? So one way to do it is basically take the two card combo and throw in third. Pretty simple, right? Or an even better way of doing this would be to simply take this system as is and throw in another n loop before it which tells us basically how many times to run it um, that is an interesting system it is not complicated but as with everything I don't like it um, I would like to be able to easily add all these possibilities let's see what we can do so if we take the two if we take this two and add to it a third one from here what kind of n for loops do we need to do well basically open up the for loop we take in this and we take in that now this system can be broken down twice Right? Is it twice? To get to the single number. I believe we have a single number here. Yes. And here we should have two numbers. Now these two numbers, we simply need to add a third number to them. So uh, actually, this is wrong. Basically, all I need to do is take the input from here. And what I need to do is... I need to run a for loop between this unfiltered and this unindexed indexed. So now what I need to do is take an array, index the array. I would like to get both numbers out of here. Now we are going to do something pretty identical to what we have done up here which is the exact same step actually so I'm gonna just copy everything from here put it here I'm gonna throw this out here because we'll come back to that here we're gonna be putting in a three number array where the first two are the old two and the third is the new if the third can comply with all these rules where it must must be less than or equal to so if this is true or this is true if anything is true then we do not do this right so nothing can be true take that to the outside shift register it and let's hope this will work create 
a constant. Oh, we can't create a constant yet. Because this needs to enter here. Now we can create a constant. Beautiful constant. Visible. Uh, let's do this. Visible items. Uh, index display. Is that true? Yes. And there we go. This should, in essence, be what I want. Uh, let's hope so. Let's go ahead and run it. This will take a while to run. There we go. So, 414, 413, 412. Perfect. Until the 413s run out. Right here, 414, 412, 411, not 413. So I believe this is a success. It took it a while to process it, that is okay. And then if we take it and put it into this array, it should have no problem. Beautiful. Now we can come in to zero and test it here when the single time processing is done. Now later on we'll have to add some kind of progress bars or something to know what's going on. There we go. So one, 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 three of them, right? So four, five, oh, we have seven numbers in here. Did you guys notice that? Four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine numbers. Because we're adding three numbers from the original, uh, we should have four up here. Let's run this one more time. Sadly, it needs to process this again. Um, this processing could be cut down, but we would need to go through them anyway again. Let's see what happens. The one, we're checking that moving one right here. Making sure it's moving correctly. And the test begins now. Now what I expect to happen, this one, well we can do one more, is the next step, this will be zero, this will be one, this will be one. That is if the system, perfect. So this will iterate through this all the way till it reaches the end and then do it again and then do it again. Now let's try to jump to a thousand. We're still here at a thousand. Let's jump to 1,200. No, 1,200. To 1,150. No, 1,100. No, 150. Oh, uh, 1,050. Uh, Perfect. And then goes through it again. And then hopefully the 1 1 will work. And if it does, then we are done for this step. Yes, perfect. So it works. Uh, I'm just curious. Let us go ahead and check the size of this array. Create an indicator. I'm curious how far does it reach. Oh, processing. Let it process all these. It needs to process them all. 17,000. That's how many of these there are. 17,000. But trust me, that is good. Uh, mathematically, if you look at this uh, from a mathematical perspective, then basically, if we take 52, subtract four numbers which we know, that leaves us with 48 combination for that leaves 48 cards 48 times 47 times 46 is a hundred thousand combinations we have taken the hundred thousand combinations down to 17 by eliminating this kind of uh, repetition so perfect uh, let me go ahead and condense this and get back to you guys so there we go guys this is the three card combo deck which basically implements the two card combo plus the third, I suppose. Um, so there we go. We have everything we need to go ahead and process this analysis. Now, there's a small problem in this testing is that this number here is directly related to which one of these three get picked. 
So we have three of these here, and which one is selected is based on whether we are in, in which case we are. So plus three, basically we shall use plus three when we are dealing with the uh, just the hand. We have plus two when dealing with the flop, we have plus one when dealing with the turn, and plus zero when dealing with the river. Now, this list, though, that I have created here includes only us. When we eliminate, right, we can do other things, too. So, when we don't know anything, so when we're at the flop, there are three known cards, right? Plus two is five for others. If I add two more. Now, at the turn, now you have four cards, plus three is seven for others. Everything they can do at the turn, I can tell. This is best they have. Best thing they can have is right there. Best they have not future this is past this is the past this is the present right this here is the future now at the river ah okay uh, one more thing at the turn we have four plus another one card gives us our five cards this is again for others best they have. And again, this is also the present. The pre bleh, can't type anymore. Present tense. There we go. Finally, that leaves us with the river where there are five cards on the table. And we can add to that two, which gives us seven for others best they have. Present. I'll have to compile a better list of this. These are all the statistics that I want to be analyzed are right here. We have to go ahead and figure this out. All right. So I will see you guys in our next episode. Bye.